Our top story, a case of animal cruelty. A Portsmouth man will likely go to jail. This afternoon, a judge found him guilty of starving one dog and keeping another inside a crate with a dead animal. PETA gave us pictures of those dogs, but some of them are so upsetting, we can't show them. Ten on your size, Aaron Kelly spent the day in court. And Aaron, you said the judge was pretty angry about this case. Judge James Kale said if he could, he would put defendant Adrian Mason in a crate outside in February, just as Mason did to his own dogs. But the judge said that would be cruel and unusual punishment. He said he was too upset to sentence Mason today after what he heard in court. Volunteers with PETA testified in Portsmouth Circuit Court Tuesday about the day they dropped off straw for homes with outside animals. What they found behind one home stopped them in their tracks. We heard the carrier moving and rustling inside of the carrier and a dog barking. And that's when we saw that there was a dog inside of the crate. There were two dogs in that same small crate. One, named Blue, was frantic. The other, Dynasty, was already dead. There wasn't a lot of room and he was stepping on her when he was moving and she wasn't moving or responding to that. On Tuesday, a judge convicted Adrian Mason of animal cruelty, saying Dynasty starved behind his home in February. Blue survived, but was several pounds underweight. He was very frantic and pacing a lot and had clearly been emotionally traumatized from his ordeal. Dr. Courtney Harold talked about examining Dynasty's body. There was absolutely no body fat anywhere on the animal. Doctors found a broken leg and straw in Dynasty's stomach, evidence she had not eaten anything else. Ribs, lumbar vertebrae, pelvic bones, and all other bony prominences evidence from a distance. Attorney Nicholas Reniger said prosecutors never proved Mason intentionally starved the animal. It's like she just stopped eating. Defense witnesses testified Dynasty stopped eating after giving birth to her litter. She ran away and was injured, but they say Mason had food for her. It was always fresh water in the bowl and the bowl was always filled. But the judge said Mason had no excuse for not getting help when he couldn't afford to take the animal to a vet. This case broke my heart from the very beginning, given that not only was it too late for one of those poor dogs, but that the other dog had to watch and be confined in a small crate. Prosecutors say Mason has a criminal history which includes charges for assault, larceny, and eluding police. The judge said Mason should do some volunteer work with animals and give up any pets he has at home. Sentencing is set for December. He could face a year in jail and or a $2,500 fine. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.